When a person dies in their sleep and they're 90, that seems to be okay, even though it's not. But when someone dies when they're 13, that's different. That's not fair. God's not good. If God is good, then why didn't he prevent this from happening? These are questions that everyone here will probably ask. They run through our head. Thankfully, God's not silent about this. God knows, and there is purpose in this, but it helps if we understand the bigger picture. Well, when he was a teeny tiny little one, all the ladies from the airport went to lunch uh, at a tea room. And uh, Nathan was, I don't know, maybe a month old. And uh, Brooke had him in a sling across her, and he, he slept the whole time we were there. He was so precious. have now learned a 13-year-old is one of the two people killed in a plane crash in Coweta County, the Coweta County coroner, telling us 13-year-old Nathan Sorensen of Sonoya and 43-year-old Mark Nowilski of Ocala were killed Saturday when the plane went down just outside of downtown Sonoya. The NTSB and the FAA were both out there today investigating what caused this mishap. Witnesses tell 11 Alive they heard loud rattling before the plane crashed. This is a celebration of life. Boy, what a life Mark and Nate had. Mark continued to balance God, work, the fun of aerobatics, the lake, and life. Mark was my, he was my best friend. I've known Mark for about nine years. We were teammates. We were brothers from another continent. Um, we lived and breathed airplanes and aerobatics together. Admiration, love, courage, strength, passion, passion. Mark had a passion for, for three things, family, friends, and aviation. I knew he was a great pilot the first time I saw him fly. I was absolutely amazed. I mean, my jaw hit the ground. I'm Parker, and Nathan was my best friend. We did so much together. I spent a lot of time with Nathan the weekend before the accident. I'm so grateful that I met Nathan, and I remember all the times we had together. He will live forever in our hearts. I went into the air to play. My friends, the clouds, their bottoms gray. Up aloft, the sun is bright. I hope you see, it's me, your light. The wind is sweet and she's steady too. She's followed me, she'll follow you. From up above, it's all so clear. No worries, sorrows, sadness, fear. The shadows cast are swift and fleeting, soaring now my heart is beating. Above the ground I travel now, upon the sky I'm all around. Circling high where I roam, heaven's bower I'm called to home. I do not fear the earth, the ground, I'm up above, I'm safe and sound. As many of you guys know, I lost my brother James a year and a half ago, and when I got the news that Mark and Nathan had passed, uh, it felt like that same kick in the gut. And I was really honored to be able to go up to Georgia and bring Dan, our fabulous videographer, up with uh, the blessings of the Sorensen family to, to capture the event and try to share some of their story. Uh, because these are two incredible men. Mark was one of the most gracious, generous, hilarious people that I've ever known. Um, he has always had this characteristic of just finding a way to find joy and hope in every situation. And though I didn't know Nathan well, uh, I knew his family and I know his brother and I know his father's heart and his kindness. And these guys were huge helpers and proponents of paradigm and of everything we did. Um, and they were just good men. So 
Uh, I'm heartbroken to share this video, but I'm grateful that uh, we got to, to give something back to the family so they could have this captured. Um, if you guys were touched by this story and you have anyone in your life like this that uh, you'd like to honor, please uh, check out the links in the description. Uh, I know that Mark and Nathan have done a lot of good and they're continuing to do so even though they're gone. So uh, if you'd like to give back and see more people be blessed, feel free to check out those links uh, to the Sorensons and to Mark's family. Uh, so much love to all of you guys. I I'm truly honored to call you friends and I look forward to seeing you on a happier day sometime soon.